Uh, how do I work Hyperland? A flame shot I work on Highland? Oh, I don't know. Blood Rose. I don't think I did. Flame shot's an Xorg product. I think I was using Grimshot instead of Flash. Uh, flame shot. Flame shot's Xorg only. Uh, flame shot is not what I'm using. This is what I'm using here, but I'm using Xorg. This is an Hyperland. This is BSPWM. And that's the thing is like, yeah, just always remember there's always something that you can do, uh, whether it's Windows or Linux. Uh, they all work fundamentally the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's just there's so much more in Linux and that's complicating. You know, that's the thing is there's just so much to learn. There's so many different roads to go down. Heck, just just the basic things to getting, hey, is this an Xorg application? Is this Wayland? Is understanding just rendering can be difficult. And the documentation is kind of all over the place because at the end of the day, no major business when it comes to Linux really uses Linux desktop that much. So Linux desktops kind of run by whole gamut of different different people with very little uh, business interaction uh, because most of the business side of Linux is all server based. That's why it's foundation is amazing. Like everything in the CLI and the server realm is just unbelievably rock solid, like so good. No matter even even take Arch and you have that rolling release that stuff's constantly changing. Still, I would take an Arch CLI experience over like a Windows as far as stability goes, just because I know that CLI is, it may break or, or what it might, that might happen on a rolling release, but it's still far better than dealing with like windows updates and things like that, that are kind of crazy, but yeah, I digress. Yeah. And I think that Don, yeah, I, I would say there's like, when you look at it, I definitely say, say there's more in Linux. There's definitely more in windows than Mac because Mac's really locked down and it just, it just depends on your environment and, and, that's not a good or a bad thing. It's a double-edged sword, you know? Having more means you got more to learn. Where having less means it's easier to pick up on. Like, I think anybody could pick up a Mac and learn it in, like, a couple days. Like, there's really not that much there. Now, diving into some of, like, the permissions and extended uh, properties and, and understanding, like, the quarantine and when you're downloading things and how its Unix structure is set up... All that, yeah, there's a little bit more there to Mac, but oh man, it's just it's just not that deep <laughs> of an operating system. There's not much you can do with it. And uh understanding it, I would say you I could read like a manual of Mac in a day and just update and be fine. Where Windows is a little bit more complicated because it's such a an old operating system at its core and it's just kind of been tacked on and there's all these different monstrosities that kind of come off of windows and all these different modules and how it all interacts and how they've tried to like tidy it up to make like a cohesive UI, but kind of failed a little bit. Uh, but it, everyone understands it because it's what we've used forever. And then there's Linux and Linux is like, Oh, well, you can do and make it look and act however you want. You want it super insecure, it'll be insecure. You want it super secure, it'll be super secure. You want it really stable with like not a whole bunch of moving parts, it can be really stable without a bunch of moving parts. It really is whatever you make it. And that's the beauty of it. But there's just so much of a, a spice rack assortment of stuff to do that you're just like, no one knows it. Like, and anybody that's like, I'm a Linux expert, I'm like, okay, this person's probably really stupid then. <laughs> they just know, like, enough to be dangerous and, uh, or enough to do, like, a couple things and that's it. But, <laughs> like, a good example is, like, Linus Torvalds, probably the biggest genius in the Linux realm, right? The creator of Linux, so to speak, or the Linux kernel. It, hell, he even had problems installing Debian. You know, he, he there's that funny story. So, I mean, it's there's just a, a, such a deep ocean of exploration that you can do in Linux. <laughs> Sorry for that rant, but yeah, that's Linux. That's Linux for you. The difference between uh, the operating systems, as I see, not, they're not, I'm not going to say one's better than another one. They just have different use cases 
And I always tell people, use the right tool for the right job and the right person. You know, depending on that person, you might might choose any of them. Might be suitable for, for any, any person. It just depends. There's power users that will like one or the other. There's basic users that will like one or the other, depending on what their their knowledge set is, because someone's always has an experience with one of them.